Bobcat, Galt Waits. <laughs> to make it. I, I actually mugged Molly. <laughs> yeah, I did, and I'd do it again. <laughs> it's kind of fun slapping him around. Hi. <laughs> Hi, they have a whole bunch of these back there, and I'm... <laughs> I'm just gonna take them. Hi, I'm... <laughs> I'm really glad that you showed the clip from me from Police Academy before I came out. I didn't even know what the hell I was saying. <laughs> oh, I miss doing Police Academy. That was a good paycheck. You know, Bob, we need you on the set. I'm coming. Ah! Cut. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the trailer. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, actually, I don't know, why you, um, there's definitely some resentment towards Yanks here, and, um, the only thing I can figure, apparently, it's, um, Meryl Streep. <laughs> for that, for a dingo ate my baby. <laughs> Boy, she really nailed the Aussie accent with that performance. <laughs> a dingo ate my baby. <laughs> I live in Los Angeles, but this applies for anywhere. I'd like to say this. If you ever see me getting beaten by the police, put the video camera down and help me. <laughs> Don't chase me around. Woo! Hey, where's the guy who cut his hand? You know, in the States, he could just sue your asses really bad. <laughs> hey, that's why you have him back this week. He'd be the host in the States by now. <laughs> you better be stuck it up to him. Even actually, even actually, I don't know what else. Unfortunately, you have to watch our television, and unfortunately, you have to watch what America's doing at all times. We're like, I don't know, we're like the drunk stepfather of the world. <laughs> the, I'm very confused being American because, simply for a couple of reasons, we sold weapons to Iran for about 12 years, and then we bombed that country. I'm glad we never had a ground war because there would have been American soldiers running around the desert going, ah, oh, damn. Which tank did I just get out of? <laughs> the guy's running around like lost in a car park. Uh, I'm a dad, and that scares me more than it scares you. <laughs> it scares me, because I'm not going to age gracefully. Having me for your dad, ooh, there's a real cool prestigious pop. <laughs> having me for your dad is about as cool as growing up having Curly from the Three Stooges, your father. <laughs> Do you realize how many times my kids will hear, that's your dad? <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> and I'll be like, how come your little friends never come in the house? <laughs> Get in the house, we're gonna watch Police Academy 50. <laughs> By the way, why do they even bother having weathermen here? What is the point with that? <laughs> Every time I go to get dressed, uh, I, I, get, I, I start out, I, I get dressed five times to go out here in Melbourne. It's like, all right, no, it's raining. <laughs> all right, no, now I'm sweating. You know, why do you even have weathermen? It's like, and now the weather, and this guy going, I, I don't know. <laughs> Why do you people do this? I actually had my hair cut here. It was honest. You guys really did this. I look like a lot of people, can, as soon as they hear the Yank voice, they go, it's either Curly or Bruce Willis. Oh, I don't know what else I can talk about seeing that this is a G show. Is it G because it's G-rated or it's... Gee, why did we have G for my... good. G for good? G for great. I didn't know it was this, though. This was totally by mistake. This is my hat that I brought with me, but I actually... This is... <laughs> I look like a hundred dollar bill here. <laughs> you know, I... Do you realize in the... Whatever. In America, this is how you get a hundred dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> by dressing like that. I don't know. I, I thought I was supposed to go. Okay, now do I you go? You a gift. A gift first. It's a no, gift for you, Bob. I'm to cut my hand with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have sharp ducks. Can I go? I don't know. I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> That's all I have. Oh, and thank you.